Igish Fiontek versus Beatrice Adaj Meyer is the second semi final for the ladies French Open for 2023. And both ladies have a different roads to get to this stage. Adaj Meyer started the tournament off against Tatiana Maria in the first round. This is no problem for Meyer, getting through in straights. 6 love, 6 1. In the second round, she'd take on Snader, and this was a battle. After dropping the second set, she'd fight back to win 6 2, 5 7, 6 4. In the third round, she'd take on the 23rd seed Alexandrova, and after dropping the first set, she was forced to fight back 5 7, 6 4, 7 5. In the fourth round, she'd take on Tormo, who was fortunate enough to avoid Rabakina, who had to retire from the event in the previous round. And again, after her dad Meyer lost the first, she would fight back to win in a three-hour, 50-minute match, 6-7, 6-3, 7-5, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, her dad Meyer would take on the number seven seed, Jabur. It had been very impressive to get to the quarterfinals, but after dropping the first set, her dad Meyer fought back to win, 3-6, 7-6, 6-1 to advance to the semi-finals. Igish Fiontek started the tournament off as a number one seed and defending champion and would take on Bookser in the first round. And after a close first set, would get through in straights, 6-4, six, 6-love. Six, in the second round, she'd take on Lou. And again, after a shaky first set, Fiontek got it together in the second, 6-4, six, 6-love. Six, in the third round, she'd take on Wong, who'd taken out Buzkova, the 31 seed, along the way. And this was by far Fiontek's best performance, getting a double bagel, 6-love, six, 6-love, six, and showing everybody why she's the number one and the best player on the planet. In the fourth round, she'd take on Sharenko, who had taken out Krajikova and Andrescu in straight sets along the way. But unfortunately, Sharenko was sick and couldn't finish the match, with Fiontek winning 5-1 retirement to make to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Fiontek would take on the number six, Goff, who she'd already played six times before with relative ease. And, uh, and although Goff put up a fight, the same story happened, with Fiontek winning in straights 6-4, 6-2 to get to another semi-final of the French. These two players have only played the one time before. That was last year on the hard courts of Canada, with Adaj Maia getting the upset win, 7-5 in the third. So the confidence is with Adaj Maia here, but Sviantec has the experience on the clay and, of course, at the French Open in a semi-final. If Adaj Maia is going to win this one, she needs to get off to a better start than she did with Jabur. She wasn't playing very well in the first set. She only held serve the one time, so that serve needs to work. She needs to be a bit more aggressive on the serve like she was in the second half of that match, and she needs to take it to Sviantec on the ground strokes as well. If Sviantec is going to win this one, she needs to limit the errors. She's been very shaky in some of the first sets this tournament, especially the one against Goff. She got the break early, gave it back. She can't be doing that against a Daj Meyer if her serve is on point. So she needs to get a little bit cleaner earlier in the match. This is going to be such an interesting matchup. The revenge match for Sviantec after what happened in the shock of Toronto last year. Uh, but also the first, Sadaj Meyer semi-final of the slam, and it's on a clay court, which is a little weird, but I'm going to go with Sviantek in three. I reckon she'll get her revenge, but it will be probably the toughest match she's had so far, and Sadaj Meyer does have a huge serve, so I'm going to give her a set for that, but I think Sviantek gets through this one and gets to the final again. Let me know down in the comments below who's going to make the final.